few hard months, but we finally tied it up. Once we bury this thing for good, there'll be bonuses all around. Now, how does that sound? Can't complain about that, Mr. Pierce. With the information in that safe box, our kingpin will be going straight to the slammer. And Harvey's picks are all we need to finally ID this guy. Man, Swain and his boys will be sore about this one. I need you to make one last trip to that safety deposit box. Sure thing, Mr. Pierce. Ah, <clears throat> oh, Harvey. Just the man I want to see. The job's done, boss. By this time tomorrow, the cat will be out of the bag. I think I'll have to lay low for a while, though. My cover's been blowing. So be it. Good work, Harvey. Good work. So what do you got for me? Nothing until tomorrow, but I can tell you this much. Our ringleader is a dame. A dame? You don't say. A dame? Wow, that's something. All right, now listen, Harvey. It's all going to go down tomorrow night. And this is where we got to play real nice with Swain and his boys. We bust this operation wide open. Do you know what we're up against you? I don't know. Swain says it's diamonds. But I think it's something else. You meeting here? Tomorrow? Nine o'clock show? Yeah. yeah, nine o'clock, that's right. I think I'll head home and get some shut-eye. Tomorrow's a big day. Well, you don't want to come out for a drink. A drink? Another late night? Is it Iris? Iris? Yeah, she sure does make it worse. I can't stand her beefing at me all the time, you know? Man, women sure do drive you crazy. Yeah, what did you say, boss? Oh, well, I'll see you tomorrow, all right? Yeah. You're crazy! I 
I stabbed her. It wasn't part of the plan. I stabbed her. I you stabbed, stabbed her. her with the knife that you gave me, all right? Put that away. I stabbed her. Just give me the key. I'll give you one. You want a key? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You're getting crazy. Uh, you need to pay me more money. All right, you have to pay me a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars? No, no. One million dollars. You're crazy. You're crazy. One million dollars. Just give me the key. You give me one million dollars? Or I stab you! I stab you and your daughter! You're crazy! I'll stab every one of your daughters! I stab you! Put the knife away, mate! I'll oh, stab! Come on, we don't want this! Put the knife away! I'll stab you! Just put the knife away, mate! I'll stab your daughters! What do you guys want, man? I don't know nothing. I don't... Oh. It's enough of that. Enough of what? I don't know nothing! You heard me. Oh! You don't know who you're messing with. You gonna squeal, sir? I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> Sweet dreams, punk. Listen, I've been here for four hours, and it hasn't been hard enough without you breathing down my neck. So if you've got all you want, I'm just gonna walk out the door. Not quite, Pierce. Where'd you say your secretary was heading last night? I didn't. Look, quit the bull, fellas. I got things to do. And quite frankly, I don't see why you need to know. This is private business. Hey. All right, Pierce, listen, if you got something you ain't telling me, we got a problem. Do you hear me? We got a problem! You're damn right we got a problem! We got gangs running up all down the east side because of you, Pierce. You're a loose cannon! And where am I? I've got no answers! Like I said, it's personal business. This ain't over. All right, Pierce, after tonight, you and me, we're gonna have a chat. And I want answers! You get what you're given. Oh, is that right, Pierce? Well, you better watch where the hell you're walking, little buddy. Because you've come on the wrong side of the law, you're gonna find out you'll get what you're given. What might that be? Ten years minimum. More if you make problems for us. Withholding information on a crime is a serious matter. We'll see about that. Pierce! Nine o'clock tonight! Don't keep me waiting! Hear me, Swain. I want this finished. I want this finished! I'm ready to help. I should be feeling it. Because my boyfriend's here. 